morning renegades. So it's uh, Easter Monday. Um, you know, I woke up this morning and thought, you know what, I'm going to do a brew today. So uh, I've put together a home brew. I'm doing a, uh, a Cooper's, uh, the Cooper's one. It's got a hop slam, so it's going to be pretty hoppy. Um, yeah, I haven't done this one before. There's a lot of things in this that I haven't done before. So uh, here we go. Yeah, right, so at the moment I've got I've already got to fill that up to about, we've got about 22 litres in there. So what I've used for that is, it's a bit messy because I've poured it all out already, but it's um, Thomas Cooper's uh, Brew A. So it's an IPA. Um, and this is the first time that I have done this kind of brew. And it also the first time I've done this. So what this is, is the Cooper's Yeast Culture. So on Thursday I got uh, a six pack of Cooper's Mid, Mid Strength, and with each bottle I left about two centimetres of sediment, the yeast sediment. Um, and what I did with all six of those bottles, I put that in with uh, 600 mils of um, hot water and nitro malt, 60 grams of nitro malt into 600 mil of hot water okay so that's uh has been sitting in the cupboard for about four days so every morning and night i give it a shake to keep the yeast active so i'm going to use that as a yeast dependent on how it smells this is the first time doing that so that's that's looking really good so that's my yeast for this brew so instead of using the packet yeast, like uh, like they have that come in the cans, just these little ones, what they are, you sprinkle those on top of the um, on top of your wort, and uh, you let that go for a couple of weeks. So it's going to be interesting. So I'm just waiting for this to cool down a little bit. So it's a little bit warm at the moment. I've got a 20, I'm going to have to drop a few more degrees before I pitch the yeast. Or to get close to 21 if I can and uh, so that's the starter and on day probably day three or day four I'm gonna throw these hops in so I've got Topaz hops and Galaxy so that'll be a nice mix in this it should be a nice hoppy IPA I've got 25 grams so I'll put them in a little bag and drop it into the into the wort Probably in three or four days, so I'll say Monday, so maybe like Thursday, I will dry hop and we're going to leave this for a few weeks and see what we get. So it's going to be really interesting. So, next, I'm just going to see how this smells. Alright, so look at that. There's the yeast, so it's ready to be pitched. A little bit of a like a banana smell, so that's not too bad. So that's good. Alright, so this is the last step. We pitch that. Mix it up and uh, the fermentation is already started in that yeast, so yeah, we'll try it in a couple of weeks and see how it goes. 